Welcome, and thank you for viewing our presentation, Health and Developmental Effects of Tobacco Use, presented by the American Lung Association in Iowa. In today's presentation, we will cover what it means to use tobacco products, health effects of tobacco use during pregnancy, considerations while breastfeeding, and resources available to help you quit when you are ready. First, let's start off by defining what a tobacco product specifically is. A tobacco product is any product that is made or derived from tobacco or contains nicotine. It is intended for human consumption or is likely to be consumed whether smoked, heated, chewed, absorbed, dissolved, inhaled, or ingested. A tobacco product does not include tobacco cessation products that are approved by the FDA, such as the patch, gum, or lozenge. The use of tobacco products comes in many forms, including but not limited to cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobacco, chewing tobacco, snuff, snus, and electronic smoking devices such as e-cigarettes, vapes, mods, and tank devices. While you are probably more than aware of the many health risks that come along with using tobacco products, did you know that using tobacco products while pregnant and breastfeeding can put your new baby's health at risk too? What makes tobacco so harmful for both you and your baby is the nicotine and harmful chemicals found in these products. We know moms want nothing more than to keep their children safe and healthy. While it's possible you've had a healthy pregnancy in the past while using tobacco products, it unfortunately does not mean you are guaranteed another healthy pregnancy while using these products or that effects during childhood could occur with your newborn. Did you know tobacco use during pregnancy can decrease the amount of oxygen and nutrients your baby receives, damage your baby's developing lungs and brain, which can have lasting effects throughout their childhood and teen years, raise your baby's risk of developing birth defects, including cleft lip and cleft palate, a cleft is an opening in your baby's lip or at the top of the roof of their mouth, which can cause them to have trouble eating and will likely need surgery. Slow your baby's growth before birth and risk your baby being born too small, even after a full term pregnancy. Can also cause your baby to be born too early, also known as premature birth. It also doubles your risk of abnormal bleeding during pregnancy and delivery, putting both you and your baby in danger. Tobacco use can cause you to unexpectedly lose your baby due to miscarriage, stillbirth, and sudden infant death syndrome. Tobacco use during pregnancy can even affect your baby after they are born causing an increased likelihood of having colic, frequent, prolonged, and intense crying or fussiness, asthma, which is a condition that affects the airways in the lungs, and also childhood obesity. We know it's hard quitting tobacco, especially when you're pregnant, but it's one of the best ways you can protect your health and your baby's health. Quitting before you give birth can decrease the risk of your baby being born too early, decrease the risk of your baby having birth defects, increase the chance of your baby having a healthy birth weight, increase your baby's survival rate, improve your baby's lung development, improve your baby's brain development, and decrease the risk of your baby passing away from sudden infant death syndrome. This might surprise you, but did you know the nicotine and harmful chemicals found in tobacco products gets transferred into your breast milk? While quitting is best, 
We understand the stress of being both a new mom and trying to quit. If it's not the right time for you to quit now, we encourage you to quit when the timing is right for you. The good news is you can still breastfeed your new baby and use the following recommendations to reduce their exposure to nicotine and other harmful chemicals. If quitting is not the right time, try using tobacco after breastfeeding rather than before. Your body will likely have more time to clear the nicotine from your breast milk. Also make sure your house and car are tobacco free to keep your baby away from secondhand and thirdhand smoke. Try cutting down on the amount of tobacco that you use. Don't use tobacco while feeding your baby. And change your clothes and wash your hands after using tobacco before you handle your baby. When you're ready to quit, we are here to help. Quitting tobacco is one of the best things you can do for the health and the health of your family. Whether you're newly pregnant or a new mom, Quitline Iowa's free pregnancy program can give you the help you need to quit for good. The free services offered through this program include dedicated female coaches and support. Plus, you get nine phone calls with a female coach to help you through your quit journey. If you are a member of a managed care organization, also known as an MCO, please reach out to your MCO for tobacco cessation coverage and programs during your pregnancy and postpartum journey. Talk to your doctor about enrolling in Quitline Iowa or ask your doctor questions you have with quitting tobacco use during pregnancy or during your postpartum journey. You can access Quitline Iowa by calling 1-800-QUIT-NOW to talk to a coach when you're ready to quit.